Now we have this single lighting layer and we're just gonna change that to a lot of layers. We're gonna be copy pasting this layer to uh, 10 layers in total. So we're gonna get 10 layers, uh, 10 lighting layers, which I'm gonna do right now. Now again, copy pasting, you just do uh, Control C to edit a copy for people that are new to After Effects. Uh, we need three more layers. Eight, nine, and number ten. So we have ten lighting layers. Now what we're gonna do right now is uh, on each layer, we're gonna press on the effect advanced lighting, like over here and we're gonna select the first point and we're gonna be moving it around just a bit so its position will change the next layer we're gonna select the uh, effect again gonna select the first point again and if you just move it a little bit uh, so the direction of the lighting will change they will animate differently uh, all of the layers will animate differently so that's the whole purpose of this and it's just um, a little bit testing out where to put the first point so I'm just gonna do it right now and I'm gonna skip that uh, you're gonna drag the lighting composition and to the energy ball composition and what you're gonna get is this um, so we're gonna go to mode of the lighting composition and change that to screen so we're gonna get um, a lot of better uh, blending with the lighting wall now what I forgot to do was uh, change the mode to screen of every lighting layer but that's no problem, we're just gonna go to the lighting uh, composition and we'll just select every layer and just change it to screen no biggie, no biggie and again people um, before you start copy pasting the layers uh, be sure you really like uh, the way the first layer looks because if you're going to be copy pasting all the settings will be the same of the first layer you can change that personally if you really have time but uh, you know it still looks good this way so we're going to go back to the uh, composition so we're going to go back to the composition of the lighting ball and as you can see uh, right now the thing animates pretty good it's a blurry mess I know because it's a pretty heavy effect now you also see that there are a lot of blind spots so what it, what I did is copy paste the lighting composition and we're just gonna rotate that around uh, like that and now we're just gonna place it on the right spot and we're gonna get a pretty sweet looking effect um, now as you can see uh, a few layers might be a little bit off considering I didn't place everything 100% well keep in mind that you need to place all the points very um, well in the middle but still make all the layers go to different directions now that's pretty much the hardest part so uh, we have a pretty sweet looking effect right now Complete. Um, 
just take these three layers and pre-compose them I already did that and move all the attributes into one composition it will say that automatically anyways so um, you have the Chidori uh, composition and you have a footage so you just can make a new composition import your footage uh, and drag over the Chidori composition change the mode to screen if you want to um, to make it blend better to make the colors look a lot better uh, put the Chidori in the hand and again you can scale up the Chidori it's not gonna make it look worse now what I'm gonna show you guys is a little extra I mean this is the Chidori effect let me just zoom in on that Uh, make it full render so you guys can see it, see it sharp compare yours to mine now what, what I would say is um, you can increase the forking a bit more uh, compared to my other test video uh, Rasengan versus no wait a minute it was Futon Rasen Shurigan versus Chidori it had a bit more forking in it so that's basically the effect I'm uh, gonna change the render mode to 140 again, otherwise it will lag like hell. Uh, what I did in my test video is the following. Uh, let me find the compositions between. So this is basically the result. Is um, you get the Chidori, it, it kind of looks like it really is in your hand and yet some people said it didn't look like it was in the hand and I got a lot of criticized by that but some people said it didn't look like it was actually on the footage and blah 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 I got criticized that it didn't look good etc but it doesn't matter I think it personally looks pretty good now what I did is uh, th this adjustment layer um, makes the lighting around the body and uh, the hand over here and uh, this lighting layer uh, the only bad thing about masking out your hand is that the Chidori uh, lighting will not pass around that mask so what I did is just uh, create a little bit extra lighting and that lighting will cross the hand and uh, what I also did is take an adjustment layer around the Chidori and make it more bluish because I found it uh, looking a bit too white but uh, your Chidori which you, which you just made was a bit more bluish so this is uh, the Chidori tutorial if you guys have any questions uh, which you probably will have uh, just um, comment and I will probably answer the next hour or the next day most likely because I will check my YouTube account every day so uh, maybe I'm gonna make an advanced tutorial because I'm already creating a 3D uh, Chidori because this is basically a 2D effect on a 3D uh, environment I hope you guys liked it and I'd like to see some Chidoris on YouTube uh, thank you for watching